big question, where is Governor Walker? Three days since the election and still no public appearances from the outgoing governor after his narrow loss to Tony Evers. First Lady Tanette Walker was in town today. Our Pete Zervakis is live in the newsroom with what she had to say. Pete. Well, Carol, at an event here in Milwaukee, Governor Scott Walker's wife, Tanette, said her family is already moving forward. The governor has only spoken publicly through social media since Tuesday. This morning, a picture of the snow outside the governor's mansion. Then, God rarely comes early, but he never arrives late. And Walker later tweeted about helping his mother move this week and finding this old newspaper column written by his late father. Today, First Lady Tanette Walker welcomed the U.S. Surgeon General to the Medical College of Wisconsin. She wanted to focus on that event. Can you give us any insight into uh, just what it's been like for your family in the wake of the election and, and what the governor's been up to the last few days? Well, we've, we've been busy, and like I said, we're here to talk about trauma-informed care. But she did say this about her family's post-election discussions. We'll have plenty of time to talk about the walkers and what they're going to do next. We're not going to sit around and, and, and not move forward with our lives. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss told us he's only spoken with the governor via text message since Tuesday. I was really thinking about where we are, where we're going, um, you know, him offering words of support. You do expect him to speak publicly at some point oh. soon. I am no doubt. Well, I don't know about soon. I would say at some point between now and the end of the year. Now, the speaker told us he expects both the assembly and the Senate to reconvene sometime before Governor Walker leaves office. He says priorities include passing legislation that would maintain insurance protections for Wisconsinites with pre-existing health conditions, which was, of course, a big issue during this campaign. Carolyn Steve. It definitely was. Thank you very much, Pete.